I got my, um, I wanted to be able to come on, um, Instagram live and have a little combo with you guys right quick. Um, first of all, <laughs> I wanted to come on Instagram live for a few minutes because I had so many people like texting me, asking me stuff, people on Twitter, um, asking me questions. Um, the first thing is, the first thing I saw was I unfollowed half of my cast. That's what the blogs have said, and they are correct. Okay, so it's been a whole lot of lies put in the press. Um, and I see people are making negative comments, and it's unfortunate because a lot of times people don't even know. They don't even know half of what goes on on this show. Uh, they only get five minutes of it. Um, it's unfortunate. Um, I would have to say keep watching the show. Um, if you want to... Um, I saw something in the press where there are people are saying that Nene... I think it said Nene attacked Portia. I think that's where they say some shit like that. Listen, in my closet. Number one, let's clear all this up. Going into my closet, it's my closet, okay? It's not that serious. It's not that hard for anybody to understand. It's my closet. I said no. That's it. Production, as far as production is concerned. When I had my bi wig party at my house, um, I'm always, I always let the crew go anywhere they want to go in my house. So this particular time, my husband was in a hospital, and I said... I didn't want anybody to go in my master bedroom or in my closet. As I talked to my producer, um, he said, well, let Cynthia and Marlo come upstairs in your master bedroom. So I let the both of them come upstairs in my master bedroom. And then I told him I might want Tanya to come. So we might want to talk to her. And she came. But the producers had all the rules from the very, very beginning. Everybody that entered my house that day all knew that Greg had gone back into the hospital. If they didn't know, I told them then. Everybody knew that I was under a tremendous amount of stress and pressure. And... The production team definitely knew. So production overstepping their boundaries, that was production doing that, okay? Production wasn't supposed to do that. They had the rules. They were never supposed to film in the closet, ever, okay? So now, everybody who has something to say about it, continue to say whatever it is that you want to say. But the rules were given out, and that's what happened. Now, I want to address the Porsche thing. Uh, where Portia is insinuating, I'll put it like that, that she was touched in the closet. There were four people in the closet. Me, Portia, uh, Cynthia, and Marlo, uh, and Candy. Now, the closet ain't no damn store. It's a closet, okay, with an island in the floor. So, Portia is the only one that knows she was touched. or her. Well, I think what she said is her belt came out. So, she just assumed that I touched her and her belt came off. Now, I like to know how is that possible, is which I told her at the reunion. I wasn't even behind you. So how could I touch your belt? I wasn't even behind you. You know, it's crazy because what if I had a big-ass dog in my clothes and I said, don't go in there and he jump out and attack every damn body? You know, then it's my fault too, right? But I told you don't go in there. Okay, so I'm from the South. I was raised by my aunt. And when they tell you to come in and sit your ass down in one spot, you come in and you sit down there one spot and you don't damn move. You don't wander all over people's house. Okay, that's that. Um, unfollowing my castmates. For as Cynthia is concerned, um, you're going to have to watch the final, uh, the finale to see what it is that she does. Now, going a step further, you guys only see a very small part of our lives. Uh, Cynthia has done a lot of stuff, in my opinion, on the down low and very sneaky and underhanded. I'm just telling you the truth. Um, I always just tell it like it is. And you don't like it, you don't like it. And you can figure it out when you figure it out. Uh, she has done a lot of stuff that 
you all just don't get to see on the show that's just like underhandedly and I always come out looking like the bad guy but when she's done a lot of fucked up stuff and that's just for real now what you guys see on social media that's what you see um i don't have no hate in my heart for cynthia uh we are co-workers from this day forward i don't have any reason to not speak to her i'm happy to speak to her but anything else further than that no it's not gonna happen we are co-workers and after 11 seasons i finally realized that these girls are my co-workers now, as far as the other girls sitting on their couch, they all were trying to secure the bag because half of them are boring. So they had no other choice but to come for me. Uh, you know, they tried to come. How about that? But they may well go right on back, honey. It's so crazy to me because these girls come on this show playing checkers. I'm already over here playing chess. So it's so ridiculous to me for all of them to like, let's all link up together and act like we're nice and stuff when they really aren't. And you know, I don't mind being the villain because my check gets bigger as I become the villain. So it's okay with me. Because uh, we all can't be the same. And that's fine. Um... So, a lot of these girls, it was, you know, you can just imagine who the friends to the show and a couple other people that are new to the show. They all needed to say something or they needed to try to step up. And their only way of thinking they can step up is to step to me. It's the only way they feel like they can step up and make the executives pay them some attention. So, a lot of the girls tried to secure the bag because their bags are just not quite secured. Um... So that's it. Um, I don't have to follow them on social media. It's not that big of a deal to me. I don't want to see their shit. Um, Cynthia did something in the finale that just doesn't work for me. And it, you won't see everything, but I think you will get the point. And there were some other things that um, I asked her a lot of stuff. She lied and lied and lied and lied and lied to finally this finale really... Um, shows the sneaky, underhanded Cynthia Bailey, which is unfortunate. Um, that's just what it is. She was she was sneaky, and I'm just telling you what the real deal is. Uh, and then um, Andy Cohen said on Watch What Happens Live that I had unfollowed him on Instagram. That is not true. Uh, I was never following him on Instagram, and he has never followed any other housewives on Instagram. Why he said that? I do not know why he said that. I texted him immediately when I heard it. He said he didn't say it. And then I went back to look at the tape again, and it clearly sounds as if he did say it to me. So uh, I posted on Twitter, and then he retweeted it. And then he posted that Nene is right. She and I never followed each other on Instagram. We followed each other on Twitter. And that is the truth. Okay. So... Um, tune in to the Real Housewives of Atlanta every Sunday night at 8 p.m. on Bravo. I'm opening up a new boutique in the MGM casinos in the DMV. And uh, so Swag Boutique is growing. I have some other amazing things that I'd love to tell you guys about, but um, I'm going to move in silence and then tell you guys about them later. Uh, for all you guys who are asking about Greg, Greg is doing absolutely amazing. He was never sick to the point of needing an IV or eating out of a damn pump or something. Uh, Greg is doing amazing. Uh, you, he was on the reunion as well, so you'll be able to see and hear what, what he has to say. Um, so, um, I hope you guys enjoyed the season. Um, yeah, and I and, and as far as me, and, and, and I want to say for all the caretakers out there, I get a lot of emails every single Sunday, but I get them during the week too. A lot of people watch the show, and the only people that really understand are people who are caretakers. So a lot of caretakers reach out to me and tell me their stories. And um, I really want to do something for all the caretakers out there because it's definitely a hard position to be in. And uh, and if you've never been in this situation, you would probably never understand it. So I really want to do something for caretakers. And um, yeah, so 
Um, thank you guys for tuning in. Um, I hear somebody saying, please don't leave the show. I have no desires to leave the show. <laughs> okay, this I, I don't know where all this is coming from. I have no desires to leave the show. Um, you know, they don't want all the cast to be friends. I don't know why the, the girls who play checkers all feel they all need to be friends because the production ain't going to even have that. They got to fall out, honey. They got to fall out, okay? That's just the way it is, okay? They going to have them to fall all the way out. So, this season, it was me on the couch that everybody wanted to come for, and I was fine with it. You know I can hold my own. Next season, it'll be somebody else, honey. It's like that. That's how it is. These girls are friends with you one day and not friends the next. Most of them want to be known as this great, sweet person. And when they really aren't that great and, and that sweet, I just happen to be loud and proud. And uh, But I have a heart of gold, so don't ever worry about that. For those of you who don't believe it, that's because you don't know me. For those who know me, know how big my heart is. Shop at Swag, SwagBoutiqueOnline.com. Love you guys. I would answer questions, but I got some girlfriends waiting on me to go out and have a drink. Okay? Love you guys. Oh, ain't that ceiling nice? Okay.